hey what is up everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can debloat and optimize your nvidia graphics driver and also maybe get more fps in your game so let's get into the video right after the intro so first you need to download the latest graphics driver okay so we need to see which graphics card we have so you need to click on the search bar and then search device manager and then this will open and you need to expand display adapters and here as you can see your dedicated gpu name so head over to the first link in the description and it will take you to this page and here you need to select your gpu mine is 1650 ti so i'm going to choose geforce gtx 16 series notebooks if you are using a laptop you need to select the one which says notebooks at the end in the brackets if you are using a desktop gpu then you need to select which does not say notebooks so I am using a laptop so I'm going to choose the one which says notebooks and then here select 1650 Ti again your graphics card might be different so you need to choose accordingly I'm using Windows 10 if you're using Windows 11 select Windows 11 and language English yes download type select game ready driver and then start the driver search and after it has completed searching you need to scroll down and download the latest graphics driver so select get download and then select download now as you can see the graphics driver is going to start downloading so let it finish downloading while it is downloading you need to head over to the second link in the description which will, ta which will take you to this nv clean install page and again this is totally safe no viruses at all and you need to select the download button over here choose the server which is closest to you and then once that is downloaded we need to wait for the graphics driver to finish downloading all right once that is downloaded you can go ahead and close your browser all right once you have downloaded both of them you need to first open nv clean install select yes and now you need to select use driver files on disk and then here you need to browse where you have downloaded the new graphics driver so mine is on a desktop i'm going to choose desktop and then select the graphics driver.exe file then select next and here you can choose which components you want to install if you want everything you can just select the all button if you want only the recommended you can select recommended if you want only the display driver then you can select minimum and i highly suggest you to select the recommended because this will install the important the major components which is required by the graphics card to work properly so for example if you are using a laptop you will need to install optimus and if you are using a gpu with usb c display out then you need to select the usb c driver also and if you have connected your gpu and your monitor using the hdmi cable and your monitor has uh, built-in speakers then this is important which is hd audio via hdmi this is also important physics is actually optional i think but it is good to keep it so i'm just going to choose recommended it will install the bare minimum uh, components which is required by the graphics driver to work properly here you can choose geforce experience but if you really want to use geforce experience do not install it right now now you only install the important components after we finish everything then you can install geforce experience you need to download it separately from the website and then you can install it now once you have chosen what you want you need to select next and now the software will start unpacking the installer <laughs> next you need to select disable installer telemetry and advertising then check the box which says show expert tweak and here again disable driver telemetry and then you need to select the box which says use method compatible with easy anti-cheat and then select next it's going to apply the tweaks it might take a second or a minute All 
all right so it has finished customizing the driver now if you want you can go ahead and install it right away but i do not recommend you to do that so what you need to do you can either build package or you can select show in folder building the package means it will again create a single installer.exe file that can be copied to other machines which use the G same gpu so i'm gonna go and select show in folder and then select the temp folder that is where it stores everything i'm just going to copy the folder which has the driver to my desktop and you can actually go ahead and close the nv clean install program as it is done and here we have our clean new debloated and optimized driver so before we install that we need to get rid of the old nvidia driver so to do that in a very clean way you need to download ddu which stands for display driver uninstaller and again i will give this link in the description down below i'm going to choose netherlands you can choose any server and now we need to wait for the download to start once it has finished downloading open the zip file copy the exe which is inside the zip file over to your desktop and it is a self extracting archive so you can just browse where you need to extract and then select the extract button and as you can see it's going to create a new folder and then put all the files in there now you need to reboot your pc into the safe mode and for that i will use my phone camera to record because the quality might not be good if you record in safe mode i don't think you can actually even record in safe mode i don't know anyways i'm going to switch over to my phone camera okay so before we do anything i would recommend you to turn off your wi-fi if you're using ethernet disconnect the ethernet cable and then to reboot into the safe mode you need to go to the start menu and then you need to hold the shift key and then press the restart button do not release the shift key until you see the next screen which i will tell you when to release the shift key and you can go ahead and release the shift key now select troubleshoot select advanced options select startup settings and then select restart now your pc is going to reboot so we have to wait for it to reboot all right now select the number four you need to press the number four key on your keyboard and then your pc will reboot into the safe mode Alright now we are in the safe mode so you need to open the extracted display driver uninstaller, uninstaller folder then open the display driver uninstaller.exe and then here first you need to select options then here check everything check the box of all the uh, specific options available over here and if you maximize the screen and scroll down you can actually prevent the downloads of drivers from windows update that is a good thing i'm going to choose that i'm going to select close and now you need to head over to the select device type and then you need to select gpu because we are basically uninstalling the gpu drivers select gpu and then we are uninstalling the nvidia drivers so select nvidia and then once again make sure to see all your settings are correct over here Once everything is correct you can click close and then you need to select clean and restart now this will go ahead and uninstall the old driver it's going to make a clean uninstall it's going to uninstall each and every registry file leftover folders and everything so give it some time and your laptop is going to automatically restart in the normal mode as you can see it's restarting Alright, once your PC has restarted into the normal mode, you need to go to the folder where we have our debloated driver and then you need to open the setup.exe, select yes and now the driver installation is going to start. As you can see first it's checking for the system compatibility to make sure that the graphics card is compatible with the driver. 
and then select agree and continue for the software license agreement select express and then select next and now we wait for the uh, driver to install And here at this point you need to select install this driver software anyway. And as you can see the installation is completed. Now all you need to do is restart your PC once and you are ready to use your debloated and optimized driver. So that is it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.